And a long. Now Eric Brown is down in the infield. Taking a picture of the trophy dash. Let's give him a nice hand. He was very nice to come out. How about that? Eric Brown of WISC TV, along with our own Ned Wicker down there in the middle. Ned, the public relations director here at the Capitol Speedway. First heat, get on the line, guys. First heat, let's get it up online. Here they come, six laps, six cars. Pepsi Trophy Dash. Bobby Gunn gets the early lead. The Gunner gets the quick lead as they go into the first turn. Everling drops back to position. Jim Weber takes up on position number two. Jimmy Weber running second. Kerry Hemmerling's third, Carlson is fourth, Jimmy Bach got it together, he's in the number five spot. Remember, nobody has clean swept in a year and a half here at the Capitol Speedway. If Jim Bach can get to the front of the dash, he's got half a chance, but I'll tell you, that's almost an impossibility, as tight as these cars are these days. Two down and four to go. Weber running second, Steve Carlson is third, the 17 of Hemmerling is fourth, Bobby Weiss is fifth, and Jimmy Bach has dropped back to fifth. No sweep tonight. Four down and two as they come by this time. Bob Gunn trying to pick up the dash. White lap, one to go. Gunn and Weber. Boy, Bobby Weiss off of it a little bit as he'll do some correcting with the handling on the car. Bobby with the problems going into pit area. Bob Gunn out of Madison, Wisconsin leads Jim Weber. Weber looking to the inside as they come out of the corner, but nothing doing. Gunner wins it. Weber is second. The 17 car finishes third. And we'll get the trophies down. We got them in the office. Good place for the trophies, right? From Pepsi. Bob Gunn out of Madison, Wisconsin. In car number 94, that car is owned by Connie Bambrill. Sponsored by Hewitt Manufacturing in the Park Bank. And he'll come in and get his picture taken. The Gunner. Looks like he's got a, Bob, a fan for the trophy girl tonight. She looks more happy than he is. Number one out of the late model pit area. We got three heats in the late models tonight. All right, here we go. Here we come out of the corner and down. Dave Rodiger with the cross, and the green comes out. Ten laps to go. Big Ed Holmes out in front. Eddie Holmes in the 21 car, followed around by Randy Merriman. And with his hand in the air is the 22 of Dino Holmes. Dino with a problem, puts his hand in the air, he'll take it back to the pit area. And Eddie Holmes slowing off the pace, Merriman takes the lead. Running in the number two spot, chasing Randy Merriman. Pulls up alongside as they go into three and four. Oh, and Rand Randy Merriman gives him the big slide. Came way up out of the groove as they both got in a little hard. And Kusick had to keep going out and out and out. to go 
and here comes Kusick again as he pulls along the door going into three and four. And down into the corner they go. And Bobby Kusick gave him a fair amount of breath that time and he still takes the lead. Bob Kusick and Randy Merriman running first and second. Don Snow about to go down a lap. The other 77 car. Don Snow in the Maroon 77 has been lapped. The other 77 is David the running third. Davidson. Three laps to go as they go round and round here in the capital. Control on heat number one. And Kusick wins it. Second place goes to Merriman. And third place to the 77 car. Street stock drivers report to the shack for your number drawing. Street stock drivers report to the weigh-in shack. Steve or Jerry Eckel meet at the beer stand. Well, I don't know how Don Snow did that to the 77 car. I sure didn't see it happen. Boy, the front end is all torn up on that automobile as he heads it back to the pit area. Make sure you fill out your zip code contest forms, guys. We got some great gifts to give. Nine, Doug Herbst. Rondelay semi-soft G-sponsored car out of Wausau. To his outside for the first time this season is car number 41, driven by Doug Klein. <laughs> and in the back is Ronnie Bennett. Only Ron yeah, and Ronnie Bennett is there. So Ronnie Bennett in the 15 car. Sponsored by Economy Starter and Alternator on a walkie shot down to the green they come. Tight racing in the corner. Whoa, Kenny Riser. Lost it, gathered it back up. He's down on the apron. Let's see what happens to him. And that brings the yellow out. Kenny Riser lost it. Got down into the infield mud, brought out the yellow flag. Pick 
picks up that cup, he moves into four. We'll have two down and eight to go this time by. And Steve Arn is on the move, as is J.R. Bickle. Bickle now looks to the high side of Timmy Bloom as they go into turn number two, and here comes Rich Bickle. Rich Bickle makes his move on top. He goes by Bloom. Oh, Bloom scraped off some of the bottom suspension as he went through the turn. And Steve Arn right behind him. And it's Doug Hurts running side by side into turn number one. We got two races in this one, the front four and the rest. Here goes Arn by Bloom. J.R. Bickle running second. Seitz leads it. Steve Arn is running third. If I were Pete Seitz, I'd be watching the mirror. But here comes Rich Bickle. J.R. Bickle setting him up low. Now he goes to the high side, down the back stretch. Bickle along the door. Whoa, and here comes Seitz out of the groove a little bit, right up in front of Richie and slows him up momentarily. We're halfway home. Five down, five to go. And they head into the corner this time. J.R. is up alongside him, and again a big slide by this 57 car, Pete Seitz. He'll try it again as they dive in that corner. Look at Steve Arndt give these guys a little bit of room in case they get together as he follows a full car length back. Six laps are completed. We've got four to go. J.R. Pickle and Steve Arndt both looking for a way around Pete Seitz. And every time Pickle gets alongside, the 57 slips a little bit and holds it back. He'll try it again. Down the back stretch. Here comes Steve Arndt. He got by Richie Bickle. He's going to give it a try. Arndt puts the pressure on down on the bottom. Now if the 57 slips, Arndt will move in on the bottom. Only Pete effectively holds his ground. Here we go again. Now they're both going to go by. Look at this. Three of rest. No, Arndt thinks better of it. Look at there goes the 57. Whoa, Steve Arndt must have had somebody riding with him because he flat pulled his foot out of it and let the 57 go, and he saved a whole lot of repairs with that move. That allowed J.R. Bickle to win, but that's cheap. Whoa. Steve Arndt's got in the car, but whoever's giving him direction sure gave him the right one that time, didn't he? Steve Arndt really used his noggin as he let the 57 go, pulled his nose out of that, Seitz lost it, almost turned him into a snowplow. And I'll tell you what, Seitz came within us just a smidgen of hitting the back end of Rich Bickle, and then we would have had a dandy because Rich was already on the throttle to come out of the corner. So the win goes to J.R. Bickle. Second place goes to Steve Arndt in the nine car who played it cozy. leads the way around the bend. Let's see if the gunner can come up and take another one. Ted Musgrave, your early leader. Kevin Sawinski running second. Lofi and Gunn battle for third. They've got the rest stuck up behind them right now. Lofi and Gunn battle for that number three spot. We'll have two down and eight to go. Musgrave leads it. They stay the same. Siwinski and 
trophy battle. Now Gunn has dropped back to battle with Jerry Hammerling for the number four spot. Well, Richard Lofi is one improved race car driver, a lot smoother in 1985 than he was in 84. Sawinski running third. The Hammer is running in the number four spot. Whoa, and just as I say that, I jinxed him. And around he goes and nobody hits him. I think I jinxed him about being smooth. Hammer Hammerling running in the number two spot. Gary getting sharper every week as he re holds those skills after a long absence. Bob Gunn inherited the number three spot after the spin by Richard Lofi. And he's right back in contention. We're halfway home. Five down, five to go. With six laps completed, they stay the same. Down the back stretch, Ted Musgrave, Gary the Hammer Hammerling, followed by Bobby Gunn. This is like the old days. The gunner and the hammer running second and third, nose to tail. Two to go, this time passed. Car hanging on to the number two spot, but Bob Gunn is co continues to put the pressure on down the back. Here comes Jim Bach trying to take over the number four spot as those guys race to the line. Here we come down for the checker. The 98, the 17, the 94, and 61 gets it done. 98, Ted Musgrave wins it. Second place to Gary Hemmerling, and third spot to the number 94 car of Bob Gunn. And Ned, I think you got some good prizes to give away. Why don't you just take off and give some of those away before the dash cards come out for the sportsman division. Very good, Jimmy Edgar. Thank you very much. We got 10 great prizes from Pepsi tonight. And we'll be drawing names throughout the night. First winner comes from Stoughton, Wisconsin. Wayne Houston. Wayne Houston from Stoughton, Wisconsin. G-J-E-R-T-S-O-N. So Wayne, come on up, you want to... 70, Rick Nelson and 76 make up row one. Andy went in 18 and Todd Krupp in row number two in the 18 and the 26 car. By the way, Todd Krupp missed last Friday because his sister got married and he was best man. I guess that's a good reason to miss. Dave Phillips in the 27 and Peter Moore, your quick qualifier in the 76. Make up the first three rows, six laps, six cars, dash time, sportsman pit area. car is running second. And he went in the 18 in the number two spot. Running third is the 27 of Dave Phillips and then the 26 of Todd Krupp. The 76 of Pete Moore and the 76 
Truck battles the 27 car for that third spot, but right now that's too close to call as those guys are side by side. Look at White flag is out. But well, still a tight battle for the number three spot in the dash. It's all Andy went in the 18 no for the win. And Wendt wins it, second place, goes to the 70, and the 27 sneaks home for third, Lyle Phillips. Avedgerton finishes second, brother David finishes third. But the winner out of Watertown, Wisconsin, is Andy Wendt. If they scare people in that area, Harry Parr would be up here from Pepsico and Madison. The I don't know. He's a big wig down here anyway. I tried to ask him what he is. I think he's vice president of sales. That sounds like a good title to give him. And boy, we appreciate Harry. I'll tell you what, he does a fine job with his sponsorship of motorsports in the Madison area. And him and Mr. Malmquist and those folks over there are super people. Here we go. Fifteen to go in the late model semi feature. And like a new light out in the early morning sun comes the 21 car of Ed Holmes. Ed Holmes been quiet up till now. Whoa, it slows down. Look out. Boy, I tell you, Pete Seitz's front end has been remodeled. And so is Cheryl Janice. Back green we are, and we'll try it again. Ron Bennett, like a rocket, he wants in the feature, and I'll tell you what, he's on the way. Look at Bennett go. And the hand comes up again in the 21 car. Ed Holmes raises his hand, he'll go to the cross stripe. Maybe not, maybe he'll take one more trip around the speedway and then put it in. Ron Bennett, sounding the way he normally does. Bobby Kusick wants to make it two feature events in a row here at the Capitol Speedway. Don Snow fenderless working his way around in the tail. We've got a three car Bunch going here. Doug Cup and Randy Merriman have got Kusick in the middle. Kusick a little tentative about putting his nose in there. Now he gets through. Getting some pressure from Kenny Riser. Greg Newman is out of it as he puts it on the cross stripe. Ron Bennett. And Bob Kusick, one and two, the two transfer positions. Cheryl Janice going to need new right front fender on the 26 car when she gets home. Nine complete this time by, or eight complete, I'm sorry. Eight complete, we're halfway home.
Ron Bennett really outclassing the rest of this field as he goes by with five remaining. Snow goes past, then comes Kusick and Riser. They're going to battle for that number two spot. And Bennett clocks in lap number 11. Ron Bennett. Ron Bennett wins it. Seventy five. Litchfield finishes 